What's up guys? Are you wondering what you can see with the Mead Infinity 50? Stick around to find out. Okay guys, so we're just gonna do a quick unboxing. We're not gonna do like a whole bunch of details because um, you're probably just wondering mainly what you can see. You can actually pick this telescope up for under 40 bucks. Um, we'll po post the link down below so if you're interested um, you can check it out there. So let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed. Okay, so should we go ahead and open her up? Yeah. Okay guys, so you obviously get an instruction manual. Let's just kind of look in there real quick just to show you what, what you're going to get. Um, obviously, owner's manual. And it looks like you get a mead. This is a instructional DVD. Oh, and also I noticed on here it has another telescope that's like twice the size of it. It looks like it kind of just has uh, mm -hmm. looks like software for your PC. Um, we'll actually get into that a little bit later, but it does come with um, some type of CD, DVD thing. So it looks like we've got three boxes in here. Oh. Yeah, so let's get this one first. So the first box is the tripod that it goes on, or the mount, if you will. Um, pretty big. It does oh. feel pretty lightweight. Um, decent quality. Mm. Let's see, open this bad boy. Oh, it's got a rubber band down here. Oh. So you gotta move, move the rubber band up. There we go. So yeah. I don't know, it's probably not even in the shot. Decent tripod. Um, looks like where we're going to be able to hook the telescope onto, so we'll kind of look and see how we do that. Next. Right, this is probably going to be the telescope itself. Alright. There she is, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> So, looks like she comes wrapped up to protect that pretty blue. Also, it's got a cap on it. Oh, yeah. Cap on it as well. Mm -hmm. I'll rip it off. Alright, well, it looks pretty nice. I mean, it is. I mean, it is small, but paint looks pretty nice. I think it's a two inch. Anyway, so that's the telescope, basically what it looks like. You have your focuser here. Um, it did say it came with, I think, three different focusers, so let's see if that's what's in this box. Oh. What's in there, Connor? Okay, so first, comes with an eyepiece. It's your standard, standard eyepiece. And I don't know if this is an eyepiece, but this is probably also a finder scope. Nope, that is not a finder scope. So this Ooh. looks like a... So that comes with three different eyepieces so you can zoom. So this might just be... Yeah, so this is... It actually might actually have one on there. Yeah, Ooh. so this is kind of like a, a Barlow lens, it looks like. Yeah, Barlow lens times two. So it comes with a Barlow lens. goes on the tripod itself. So here is the finder scope. Yeah, just take it out and take a look at it. So the finder scope looks a little bit small. Kind of um, looks like a tiny telescope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I can definitely see you guys. It's got some nice paint on it, though. Look yeah, at the paint. It's like sparkly. You guys can see that or not. So, yeah, definitely pretty small. Um, I don't know how hard that is going to be to use, but um, we'll find out. Then also we got three zoom-in eyepieces, I think, yeah. Yeah, so what what, are the, what does it say on the lenses as far as magnification does it say? So on this one it says SR4... So a 4, a 20, and a 12 millimeter. Mm -hmm. So those will just kind of zoom it in depending on what you're looking at. So we'll, uh, we'll use those and then see, see uh, how much it actually magnifies. The main thing that we're curious about is on the box it shows you being able to see Saturn and its rings. We definitely want to take a look and see if it's able to see that. Because yeah. if you can see Saturn and its rings for under $40, that is a really good deal, in my opinion. I mean, yeah, I, I think can get this box real quick. So we'll actually just show you the box on the camera when we do the zoom over. Mm -hmm. So if you can see the the rings on Saturn with this telescope for only forty bucks, I mean that in and of itself, I think is pretty much worth it. So let's just go ahead and get this thing set up, and then we'll show you it, and then we'll actually just get outside. All right, guys, we got it all set up. Here it is. So you can see um, the eyepiece is pretty, or the finder scope is pretty small, but I mean, it should probably do the job. Then you got the lens. We're gonna, we have the 20 millimeter in there right now, so we're gonna wait till it gets dark. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what we're looking at as far as the eyepiece. Um, turns pretty easy. Here's your focuser, um, pretty standard. Um, comparing it to the box, we're really curious if you're gonna be able to see the rings of Saturn with it or not. We're not exactly sure, we hope we can, but um, we're gonna do our best to find that out and then see what other objects we can find. Also, we're supposed to be having a full moon tonight and clear skies, so we're gonna definitely get a good look at the moon. So there it is right now, and we'll see you guys when it gets dark. Okay guys, so it's the next morning. Um, we had a lot of time last night to look around and see what we could uh, actually see with the telescope. And like we said, the number one question was, can you see Saturn and its rings? Well, the answer is yes, you can. So yeah, you can definitely see Saturn and its rings um, as far as the planet goes. It's pretty small in the field of view, but you can still see its rings and even the gap in between the planet and the rings. Mm -hmm. Would you say, were you pretty impressed? Yeah, uh, just for a cheap telescope. Yeah, so I mean, just by able to see the the rings around Saturn, I'd have to say it's worth it. As far as the view, as far as what we'd give it as a rating, as far as being able to see it with the price point of this, we'd definitely give it, what, 8 out of 10? Probably a 10 out of 10. For Saturn? Yeah. And he gives it a 10 out of 10 for Saturn. Just looks that cool. <laughs> So yeah, that's probably what you were going for anyways, to kind of see what you could see. Other things we looked at were the moon. How well could you see the moon? Probably another 10 out of 10. Looked pretty good. Because last night was almost a full moon. You can see its craters and its crater valleys. Yeah. And then we actually did look at Jupiter as well. And with Jupiter, you could see four of its, four of its biggest moons. Um, the planet itself, you couldn't see a lot of detail on the planet. It looked more just like a really bright round um, planet, I guess you would say. Um, you could actually see more color and texture on Saturn, I yeah. think. Which is kind of weird because Jupiter's bigger. But anyway, it just kind of looked like a big round um, star. But you could definitely tell it was a planet, not just like a, a star in the sky. Um, as far as other things we could see in the sky, we couldn't really see much as far as like nebulas or stuff like that as of right now. We, pro we might bust it out again and see if we can find some of that stuff. But I think this is mainly for doing like close planets and the moon um, for observing. 
and I think it's perfect for that. Wow. So if you're looking for a telescope for entry level and you want to be able to look at planets, even see the rings of Saturn um, and mainly the moon, I'd have to say this is a good telescope to go with. Yeah. Wow. So if you guys have any more questions or want to leave us a comment on what you think or maybe what you'd want us to try and see with this telescope, let us know down below. And until next time, clear skies.